What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. Today we have something very important to discuss about jailbreaking and iOS 10.1.1. We're going to discuss whether it's safe or not to jailbreak your iOS 10.1.1 device. So, a couple of days ago, on December 22, I released a video about the jailbreak being released as an IPA format and how to jailbreak your device running 10.1.1. But in the description of the video, I say that it's still not a finished jailbreak and it is basically a jailbreak, but it's still extremely unstable. Well, it turned out that it really is unstable. And this is the reason I'm making this video to discuss with you whether it's important to jailbreak right now or if you can wait for a full jailbreak. So at first, I want to clarify something. Uh, Look at the Desco said he's going to release a new update of this jailbreak uh, during the uh, CCC or 33C3 event or after it because it's a little bit unfortunate due to the Christmas and trying to, um, to see whether he released a new jailbreak or not. Then do that on uh, starting from 26. You will be uh, you will be able to see if there are any cha- changes. But for the moment, during the Christmas, I don't think there are any chances for a new beta. So what about the betas? The beta that actually exists for the moment is the beta three, and it's extremely unstable. This is the beta we presented. This is the beta you see all over the internet, and there are a couple of tutorials right now on how to jailbreak and very important how to enable mobile substrate so that you can install tweaks. Do not do that. I'm going to tell you why. So uh, there is a tutorial, this is one of the pages I found, but there are a lot a lot of them, not only this one, but this one has everything clear. It says that you need to launch Cydia, tap on services and add that repository. Then you need to uh, respring and you will be good to go. You will be able to install anything on your device, on your tool broken device, including, I don't know, themes, uh, tweaks and so on. Do not do that. It's extremely important. Now, uh, the Cydia substrate was basically disabled by Luca Tedesco purposefully. Why? Because it's extremely unsafe, it's extremely buggy for the moment, and that combined with the extremely glitchy jailbreak he released because it's a beta, would destroy your device. And a couple of people installed this and had a couple of problems. For example, the uh, FaceTime stopped working, the iMessage stopped working, the mobile uh, system start work, uh, stopped working, they were, were no longer able to make any calls, to place any calls or to receive any SMS messages, and they have to reset their devices, networks and so on, or to enable um, roaming or, I don't know, to do various fixes that he listed. One of the fixes he listed right here is this one. So if you jailbroke in your device with this method and your FaceTime is not working or your iMessage is not working and so on, you can try this in mobile terminal from Cydia. Go ahead in Cydia, search for mobile terminal, install it, and in mobile terminal simply write this line by line. Start with uh, CH mode 777, uh, slash var, then again with ch mode 777 slash var slash mobile and so on. Try them one by one over SSH. You can try to run it over SSH or directly on the device using mobile terminal, but that's not the point. Look at the Desco himself said you should really not try that mobile substrate thing. Seriously, give it some time. Of course, he is going to make it available on the final release of this chill break, and it's not far away. You can still wait a little bit because what happens if you follow up these tutorials from these pages? Not not only this one. This page has no no um, no point on being um, I don't know treated like something bad, but they just made it the tutorial, right? But uh, what if you come across one of these pages showing you the uh, this fix for CDF Substrate on iOS 10.1.1 and you break your device? Well, you will not be able to restore it back to iOS 10.1.1 because iOS 10.1.1 is no longer signed, which means that if you do this and you install a tweak and that tweak destroys your device, you're going to need to restore it. And if you need to restore it, you're going to go to iOS 10.2. There is no way at this point that you can go back to iOS 10.1.1, not even if you saved your bloops, because Prometheus works with jailbreak. So 
you're not going to be able to go back to Tempo Wampo on. So do not take any useless risks for the moment. Only a couple of days. I think you can resist a couple of days without installing tweaks and themes and so on. Because if you do that, uh, you're not going to be able to jailbreak anymore. So uh, that's what that's something I wanted to, to make very clear about the Cydia substrate thing. I know it's possible to enable it, but this is why I did not make a tutorial on how to enable it. Because I don't want to put my subscribers in the position of not being able to jailbreak anymore due to rushing to install something that it's not approved. If Luca Tedesco decided to disable that thing himself, he had a point. He had a reason to do that. Keep that in mind. If if Cydia Substrate was to work with his beta, then he would have left it an enabled from default. But he did not. And that's a fix found by somebody else that anybody can apply, of course. It's not that hard. But if you do that, you're going to risk your device. So no, the reason to do that doesn't exist. You shouldn't simply do that. You shouldn't You shouldn't risk your jailbreak just for a couple of days. He's going to push a new beta that will be much more stable, of course. So you should follow this tutorial if you want a jailbreak. On, uh, for the moment, the jailbreak he released, as I said in this video, is compatible with iPhone 7, 7 Plus on iOS 10.1.1 and uh, from 10.1 to 10.1.1 on iPhone 6s and iPad Pro. But the problem is that you shouldn't try to, to do any kind of modification. I saw a couple of people installed themes on their devices already. They, they tried tweaks already on their devices. But keep in mind, guys, this is a beta jailbreak. This is not a stable jailbreak. Do not force it. You know, it, it's like trying to crank your car only with a couple of components put in together. It's not going to work, but if it's going to work, it's not going to resist more. So try not to destroy your jailbreak before doing anything. Even, even Jay Freeman, the creator of the CD app, Soric, said that for those who dare to experience QWERTY Woody up or look at this code's unstable and glitchy beta jailbreak, there is the uh, solution. So even him called it unstable and glitchy. Do not try it. I mean, you can jailbreak. It's safe to jailbreak. It's safe to jailbreak if you don't mess up with the Cydia substrate thing or with other curiosities. But do not attempt to install any kind of thing, for example, any tweak that might kill your device, any theme that might kill your device, and make sure you do not use that CDS substrate thing. This is something I wanted you to know, right? I'm going to make a full tutorial on this channel when a new beta that is at least more stable, as Luca Tedesco said, is going to be dropped. But for the moment, try to avoid it. If you resisted a couple of months without a jailbreak, I think you can resist three or four more days. Because as I said, if you break your device, there is nothing in this world that can re-jailbreak your device on iOS 10.1.1 because you will stay updated. If you have any questions, let them down below in the comment section. And till the next time, peace out.